So, if you're around here at Christ Community and you're asking yourself the question, so what's the agenda? What are we all about? Like, if the church is successful, what do I become? Well, this is the agenda right here. And if we're successful, you become a risks disciple. You don't become a bored disciple or a tame disciple or a lame disciple. You become a risks disciple because this is what Jesus called us to. Now, RISKS stands for five key things. And if you've got your programs, you can go ahead and open up your programs, and it tells you exactly what the five points of our RISKS paradigm uh, are. If you've been through our membership class, you may know this or have this memorized, but we're going to do a quick review. R stands for relies on God. A disciple starts off by relying on God. And there is a moment in a disciple's life where you say, I'm going to leave the old behind, and I'm going to follow Jesus. It happened with these guys at their nets that they said, I'm going to leave my nets and my life behind and follow Jesus. It happened last week right here in this church when 52 people said, I'm going to say yes to Jesus, not only personally in my heart, but publicly by being baptized in Jesus' name in front of hundreds of people. That's an amazing piece of good news that happened right here in our midst. And it's not only an event that happens, but relying on God is a lifestyle that takes place after uh, the fact that you have your initial relying on God. Every day, with every breath, your life is now dependent on God for his life to be breathed through you. Second thing is the disciple initiates interest in the gospel. That is that you don't hold the gospel into yourself, but you realize that this good news of the kingdom is for everybody. And by the way you live your life, people will be attracted to Jesus. By the kinds of things that you say, people will begin hearing. It's not our job to force anybody or manipulate anybody or create weird circumstances where people feel unique pressures. Instead, it's to be like Jesus and to be his messengers and help to initiate interest in others who might want to take a look at Jesus and see if they want to be a part of his kingdom. Third thing a disciple does is a disciple serves people, serves people. We have a fundamental conviction that every single person has a spiritual gift. Every single person has the opportunity to serve, a contribution to God's kingdom. And whether that's serving right here in the walls of Christ Community Church or serving in the, uh, uh, the city or in the world, everybody's supposed to be about serving. It's just what disciples do. The K stands for kingdom investor, kingdom investor. When you enter into the kingdom, you realize that your stuff is not your own. Everybody has a finite amount of time, treasure, and talent. And it's not just the case that 10% of this becomes given to God and the other 90% is yours. The way the Bible teaches it is that 100% of it becomes God's and you move from being the owner of those things to being the manager of those things. That now it's God's time, God's treasure, God's talent. And your mindset is, how do I become a good steward or a good manager of the things that God has given me? And then the last piece of the puzzle is the idea of being shaped into Christ-likeness. Shaped into Christ-likeness. That's the last S that's on here. And the idea is that you're to be becoming more like Christ. And the way that that happens is by the Holy Spirit who lives inside you, by being a part of community where uh, you're studying the Bible together, like our journey groups or our field groups or a brand new group that's going to be starting this week for people in their 20s who want to get together and study God's Word together. Find out about that in the hub if you want. It happens by studying the Bible. That's why we're having you go through this Matthew adventure and study it for yourself. Because I don't want you to just take my word for granted. I want you to get it straight from God's word and be able to understand it and be on this adventure together. So you study it for yourself. So if you're a disciple of Jesus and you say, what's the church trying to do to me? This is what we're trying to do to you. It's found in our literature, on our website, in our membership class. If this is happening in your life, we consider it to be very, very successful. And if you're someone who's not a Christian and you're saying, hey, if I dive in, if I choose to rely on God, what are people going to try and do in my life? This is exactly what's going to happen. This is what we're going to invite you into. And it's the best life in the world. We're just in the business of two things, making disciples and kingdom impact in Omaha and the suburban areas of Omaha, in Bellevue, in Council Bluffs, in Mali, in China, in every city that our online campus touches. We're about changing the world and letting God change you.